commonality that I've found amongst Christians who are struggling in their walk is the fact that they don't understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit. It, it, I just see it time and time again. Many people think that the Holy Spirit is an it or kind of like a vapor floating in the sky. They think of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is the lesser of the three or the least of the three. No. The Holy Spirit is Jesus unlimited. The Holy Spirit is a person. The Holy Spirit is God. John 14, 26. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, He will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. He, He, that means that the Holy Spirit is a person. He has a mind, a will, and emotions. And when we refer to a person as an it, that grieves the Holy Spirit. It's only through the Holy Spirit that you can get the power to live free from sin. Romans 8, 13, for if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. It's only by the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, that you can live righteously before God. The Father is not here right now. The Father is seated in heaven. Jesus is not here right now. He ascended to sit next to the Father, but who did Jesus send? He sent the Holy Spirit, Jesus unlimited in his omnipresence and omnipotent to deliver you from all trials.